I have nothing creative to say here, so let's just get right into it. So this is Spectral Phantom. It's a right spin defense type based on my very old Beyblade um, Fang Phantom. Now, here's the thing. Funny story with that Beyblade, and I've referenced this many times in some of my previous videos, but basically, the original Fang Phantom, which looked like this, Ouch. I pretty much entered that into a design contest. It probably would have lost, but I entered it nonetheless. And the design contest never ended. And I wanted to enter this into a design contest because I thought that'd be a funny callback. But the video announcing it never released, so yeah. We're not gonna do the funny thing, unfortunately. But hey, I've already entered like, what, three in the past couple months, so I don't think I need to enter another one. But um, with that out of the way, let's talk about this guy. So here we have the Phantom Chip, it's white, it has some blue, that's literally it. Here we got Spectral, which is a huge upgrade from both Fang and the first mold of Spectral, which um, looks like this. Eh. But yeah, this is a big upgrade. First of all, you don't have 2x2 two two tiles as contact points. And second of all, like it's just a cool shape, and it has some cool counter defense attributes since these studs are kind of poking out. Um, and that's about it really, but it at least it works. That's, that's all you can really ask for. Here we have the 3D chassis again. I know I just reviewed a Beyblade that had this, but this is kind of a different mold because instead of having studs on it, it has some tiles instead. So it's a lot smoother on the outside. If you guys are unfamiliar on how this part works, basically it's separated into two pieces, the support piece and the main blade. With the ANSI studs facing upwards, you have free spin mode, but when the tiles are facing upward, it's in fixed mode. And since this Beyblade's layer base has this on the bottom instead of a normal square, when you put this in free spin mode, it'll spin like that. Now do keep in mind that this is the only studded blade at the moment that is compatible with 3D's free spinning mode. On other studded bays, it will be locked in place in both modes. It'll just be, you know, either higher or lower. Um, but it will work on all axled bays. The free spin mode works on all axled bays, so do keep that in mind. Also, one thing uh, to note, let's just put the chip in. It make, putting the chip in just makes it easier to take it off. When we put it in fixed mode, uh, we get a Master Diabolos reference. This is kind of like your counter mode. It'll use this gap and then it'll do two things. It'll either, you know, have good counter attack or it'll um, kill itself. So yeah, it's 50-50 gimmick. Wow, a Dungeon Joker reference too. Awesome. Finally, here we have the Bite Driver. Now, this piece. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is. I've had this thing for like several years. They're just sort of in my bin of blue Lego pieces, but it's not Lego, but I have it and it fits perfectly on a stud. Again, if, if anyone knows what this is, please tell me in the comments below. It's like a ball and it has some friction to it um, and it's pretty good for defense. So yeah. There's that. So, yeah, that's it for the full babe. This thing looks stupid. <laughs> you know what? Actually, this reminds me of, um... Hold on, let me grab my Gladiator Bahamut. It's... It's actually taller than Bahamut. Oh my... No. Oh dear. I mean, it's still kind of funny, so... You know, that's all that matters, really, but... Uh, yeah, let's weigh this thing now. So let's begin with the chip, which is very average, like, you know, three grams, nothing too crazy. The blade is, uh, all right, 12. The chassis is like, what, 13? Yeah, 13. And then, yeah, as you know, the tip doesn't really matter. So, uh, yeah, the full weight for this Beyblade is, if I can put it together, there we go. It's about 31 grams, which that's really good. 31 is good. It's becoming like the average weight, but it's still uh, quite heavy for what it is. So yeah, let's get to the test battles now. Let's start off with a test launch for this guy. Um, it spins, yeah. And I imagine that this thing will work as well when it's spinning. One thing to note is that in free spin mode, it is a little bit harder to launch, but it isn't too bad. All right, here's our punching bag. Go shoot, there's Hydra. And go shoot, there we have Phantom. Hydra has the type advantage, but it doesn't have the weight advantage, so um, I don't know. Actually, you know what? If you guys saw the live stream where I showed off Wave 2, uh, Spectral Phantom is not very good in stock. But we didn't really use it that much in fixed mode, so we're going to switch it to that. And let's see which one is better. 
from all my off-camera testings, it does seem like the fix mode is better, which is kind of lame, considering the free spin. Oh my gosh. Since the free spin mode is better. Okay, that's what I mean by the counter attack. I saw it go into the gap, and then it just... Meh. So we'll alternate between fixed and free spin mode throughout the rounds. Here we got Barbarian, so let's see how we'll do against him. Oh, whoa, okay. He's defending himself pretty well with that free spin. Alright, dude, okay. Also, Barbarian is in attack mode throughout the whole thing because... Why not? It's more fun. Not when it does that, though. When it does that, it's not. Oh. Okay, let's go Taurus. You know, Taurus should win. Because it just has the stamina. Like, yeah, yeah. Wasn't even close, dude. Let's see if it'll be better in the fixed mode. Hopefully it fixes its performance, too, against this guy. Oh, that, that's actually working. It's because it's hitting those horns that are kind of like Tars's weak spot. Never mind, it's not working. Wow. We gotta end off with my boy. I am afraid. It's still spinning. Oh, you didn't see it, dang it. That is inconclusive. I don't even know who won that one, but it de-chipped EXO, so... You know what? We'll leave that as inconclusive. We'll try it again. So, in free spin mode once again. Alright, there we go. Oh, it's leaning. Yeah, th there's the weak spot. I think the problem is the height. Or maybe it's not. But generally, I think that the height, since this thing is, the chassis is four studs tall instead of three studs, or four plates instead of three plates, I do think that's holding this guy back, but maybe it'll be good on like, I don't know, 1D. That was the best launch ever. More time in fixed mode. Oh, I can hear it rattle. Oh, but it's defending. It's defend. Oh man. Okay. Fair enough, dude. So overall, it, um, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Storm Hydra Syndrome, where it looks really good, but it doesn't perform great. And it lost to Storm, which is kind of annoying. Um, I think that the free spin mode is worse than the fixed mode. And I also think that if we use a lower chassis, so like 1D or something, it'll perform much better. But maybe we'll do that in um, an uncut episode. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video.